Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to discuss about the IDAC. I hope you know the basic concept of IDAC. It contains certain information and you can send the data either from SAP to external system or from external system to SAP. Today we have taken a scenario while running the payment how to send the payment information to your bank. Okay. So these are the steps you have to perform. In FBZP, you have to inform in three places paying company code, payment method in country, payment method in company code. So let us go and quickly check it. FBZP payment method in company code. Come here, ATIN. This is my company code. Come here and make sure you have entered this one. Come to second step. Uh, this is the payment method I have created to make the payment from the IDA. Come here, make sure you have entered this one. Then payment method in company code. Come to here. Go to form. Make sure that you have entered this one. So this is the information you have to enter in the FBZP. Then next step create the port. So T code is WE21 slash and WE21. Come to file. This is the port I have created. You can select the file then you click and create and give the port name, give the description, select this one and this is the very important functional module which helps you to generate the item you can customize this functional module via with the help of your abapper after this is done next step you have to create the partner profile before that you can go to house bank f512 go to atin select this one Select your house bank, which bank is expecting the payment from the IDAC, that house bank you have to do. Come to here, partner, EDI, give your EDI partner and mention that payment method which you will be using for the IDAC payment. Then partner profile you can go from here only or you can go via W20 P code also, both ways it is possible. So click here. Then go to here partner type that is bank and click on create select here then click on create then this screen opens I have already created so this is the part make sure that your bank name and your partner number uh, is same house bank code and partner number code is same that this bank and this is done um, via HR module so this is nothing but who is responsible for this uh, IDAC in case any problem comes so who is responsible uh, that is what you have to create in the HR module so I have created ATEL because my company code is ATEL I have created ATEL and this is purely done in the HR module no need to worry you can take help of the HR then click on plus sign here then once you click on plus sign this gets open and you have to enter this message type this you have to enter in the message type select give the port which you have already created and give all this information then this is about the configuration after configuration done post on invoice intention is to make very short video therefore going little fast if you have any doubt you can ping me I'll solve your query post it now run the payment slash n upon zero give here go to additional log here as usual come to here 
variant and variant so you can see how variant is created if you are paying company code, uh, paying company code, sending company code, all this information you have to enter. With bank, save it. Come back. Save it. Run the proposal. Check it once. See here when you are making the payment, either we generated. In this way also you will get to know whether this payment method is applicable for ITEC payment method or any other payment method not of the payment okay and this is the document number got generated some 12 copy this we will see whether then print it Okay, after that, let's see whether IDAC got generated or not. So, in document level, also you can see the IDAC number. Hit enter. Go to here. Go to relationship. And here, this is the IDAC number got generated. You can copy somewhere. Now, how to see the IDAC number? If you want to see in this IDAC what are the information it has captured so you have to go to P code WE02 give here the IDAC number give the date all this run it so this is the IDAC number IDAC has three segments so this control data data records status so everything is green now you want to see in this item what are the information these are known as a segment so this is completely done by your above consultant even you can also do but prior to that you need to know in which segment what information your bank is expecting so for example here if i click something it is capturing here if i click amount it is capturing here it is see your vendor information it is capturing so all this field and segment is up to you how you have to design what are the information your bank is expecting Thank you so much for watching the video. I will come up with another uh, IDAC videos in which I will be talking about the theory part. But this is about the configuration. You can also practice uh, IDAC setup for the PO creation and how to send the PO information in the IDAC to the vendors. That practice you can do. And this practice you can do will become perfect in the IDAC. Thank you.